Got the ball joints done on the Volvo. So I'm gonna get going, getting this parachute mounted up. I'll flip the camera around. All right, so I got this motion rate sort of set up here. It's all chromoly, that guy will bolt in and I'm getting it configured for the air launcher. So I got a nine inch stroke Bimba air cylinder and going to bust the welder out and get a nut welded on the back there. And then this will fit up as such. That way we will be uh, about one inch off center, but it should work well. We got the Stroud 430 here. Shouldn't weld, weld right on the uh, wood table, I guess. hot there. Right. There we go. Got her welded up. Can't go nowhere, so we'll get the cylinder on there. See how it works. All right, here's what we've got going on. So, cylinder clears through there. Made a carbon backing plate here for the uh, for the shoot bag. i will go ahead and knock a hole in that, but got some more leftover plate that I made for a different project. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out a circle for this, mount that on the piston, and that'll be our, our pusher for the shoot. So go ahead and uh, throw some paint on here, get that cut out, and we'll do a quick test. Here we go. So, cylinder set up there. Be able to fit the uh, push connect fitting just on the inside. The two carbon plates made there, so fully deployed. Lined up. Something like that. That's four layers of carbon fiber with some honeycomb core material, so that's pretty beefy, but uh, we'll give it a proper test with, I think we're gonna to regulate to about 125 PSI. So what I'll end up doing is running airline to the relief switch up to the front here, and we're gonna be taking off pressure from the uh, water injection. And the water injection is fed pressure from the nitrous bottle. So there's gonna be no extra onboard equipment for this. I'm gonna use the uh, pressure regulator off the nitrous bottle port off to the water injection, second port off to the parachute. So we'll have 125 PSI on both of them and uh, they'll be active anytime we got the bottle in the car, which is when we need it. Let's see if we can connect something real quick and try it out. Okay, so we're gonna turn the bottle on. Do a quick test. Pressurize. Okay, that sucker is armed. So overall unsuccessful test, didn't work well. Um, I have to troubleshoot that and revisit it. Okay, after a bit more investigation, I think the inline shutoff valve might've gone bad. So we're gonna try this again. Did you? Oh yeah. Three, two, one. 
that how it was before? No, it went up in, there's, this is further, believe it or not. But. Not really that amazing. Maybe we'll try more pressure. Okay, so why use an air launcher instead of a conventional spring style parachute, pilot chute, or even instead of like a, a spring launcher? Um, for me, this is just kind of personal preference um, because of a couple features, I guess, that you get with, a, with an air cylinder style. The first reason I like air cylinder for deploying the chute instead of, you know, the small spring and a pilot chute, or even in a spring launcher where basically in a spring launcher, you've got a larger coil spring that you'll crank down mechanically, um, but you've always got loaded spring tension in the bag at all times. And uh, first thing is that thing's kind of gnarly to pack. Um, takes a little bit more effort to pack it. Um, it's kind of a little more dangerous. You're always dealing with this, this coil spring, trying to jam it in there. And it's always sitting there when you're working on the car, working in the shop. You know, you can kind of get that to the same degree with a normal pilot chute style. Um, the spring isn't quite as crazy, but you've still got to deal with that thing every time you're packing it. And you've always got the spring pressure in the bag. And with a pilot chute style, that pilot chute is going to shoot out bounce on the road a couple times until, you know, until it drags the deployment bag out of here and the chute deploys. With an air launcher or a launcher style, as soon as I arm the system, so before I make a run, flip the switch, arm the cylinder, that thing is charged and it's ready to go. As soon as you pull the chute cable, that thing is gonna deploy. And uh, as soon as you disarm the system, there's no more pressure and this thing is totally inert. It's just gonna sit there. It's a little bit more manageable than for, you know, working on stuff, um, packing it, obviously. And uh, the other big advantage is there's no pilot chute for deployment. So the launcher is going to deploy the bag itself. And this is a chute bag. So the launcher is going to push this thing out and deploy the chute itself right away. So there's no pilot chute that has to go out, then pull the deployment bag out and then deploy the chute. The chute is coming out right away with the bag. The combination of those things is really why I want to go with the launcher setup. Now, for some people, you don't have CO2 in the car. You know, it's going to require a little bit more extra hardware. In this case, I've always got a nitrous bottle and I'm already using nitrous bottle to pressurize my water injection. So it really adds no extra hardware to run. It requires no extra kind of control measures. One switch to arm it and, uh, and the thing is armed as long as the nitrous is in the car and turned on. So that's really the only time we're going to be needing the chute. So it works out good. Yeah, I think they, that sits right in the bottom there, and somehow we got to the side. Hmm. Well, we'll see. It's officially 25 days until the race, and the list doesn't look any shorter. I'm going to try to knock off a bunch of small tasks. <laughs> New steering column in the car. Also, this is a street car. We'll keep the turn signal on, so I guess I can throw that on the column too and get that wired up. Do a little testing. Let's check out that new wheel. Smaller diameter in the factory wheel. The factory wheel is huge, so that gets pretty tight on the legs, and plus getting in and out of the car, so this should make that a heck of a lot easier. All right, so we're gonna knock some stuff off this list, and uh, hopefully in the next video, we'll have this thing running, doing a little bit of testing.